Hey what's up this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and in this video we're going to be creating our very first blog post. Now in the last video we created a page, now we're going to be creating an article. So this is going to be a little bit about what's the difference between page and article and how they function within Drupal. So let's get going right now. So in the last video we created our About Us page, in this video we're going to create our first blog post or article as it's called by default in Drupal. So we're going to head over to the version of our site that's logged in and from here we can just click content or we can head to the home page itself and click add content from here. Now from here we have again the option for article or basic page. In the last video we did basic page, in this video we're going to be doing an article, which we explained is more of like serial content, it's something that you may be having multiple of, it's going to be more of a blog post than necessarily a single individual page. Now once again I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum text so we don't have to deal with it, and we can say my first post. Uh, post spelled correctly. Okay, there we go. We now have a title, we have a body, and you'll notice we have some new options like tags. So we can just have this be intro, and we can leave a comma, and have another tag such as test. And if we wanted to, we could actually throw an image in here. So let's click choose file, and I'm just going to pick this photo of Shia LaBeouf here. And now we have a photo. And you can have an alternate text, and the alternate text can just be just d do it, because that's what I think he's yelling in this. And again, we have some meta information on the right. We can create a new revision. We can add this to the menu if we like, but since this is a blog post, I can't really imagine adding this to the menu. If you had a secondary menu of like featured posts or something like that, you could always provide a menu link and put it into a different menu. However, we don't want to do that now. Comment settings can be either open or closed by default. On an article, comments are open, so we can leave comments on posts, and that works just fine. Again, URL path settings we do not need to mess with right now. We're going to be doing a little bit more with URL aliases in another video. Authoring information is correct, it's authored by the admin, and promoting options, it's promoted to the front page by default. Let's go ahead and click publish. Okay, and now that this is published, we see my first post here. It's inserted our image into the post and it has our text wrapping around the image. You might be wondering why it's doing that. Well, that's just part of this default theme. If you wanted to edit this type of layout, uh, that's going to be a little bit more involved and potentially using a different theme. But as you can see, we have our title submitted by our meta information, our post, our tags, which allow you to actually filter, and we can add a new comment with a WYSIWYG, where you can save and preview that comment. Now if we were to click on one of these tags, you would actually see a listing of all of the posts, including a little bit of a teaser information here. So we have intro as the heading, because that's the tag, and you can see we have my first post, where we could then either read more, or select it here, and get to the post. In addition, from the home page, if we click on the logo, you'll see that my first post now shows up here. And any additional post that we promote to the front page is going to show up here as well. So we've now created our first blog post using an article in Drupal 8. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to purchase the rest of the series before they're available on YouTube, you can head to store.leveluptutorials.com or become a Level Up Pro to stream those videos. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.